So today I'm going to teach you how to blur the background in two different ways. The first way is very easy, doesn't take a lot of time. The second way takes a bit more time, but you have a fantastic result at the end. So make sure that you watch it till the end. How to start the first way. You need to press Command and J or Control and J if you are in Windows. It copies the background and once you do that, you go for selection part, you select the subject, it automatically selects the subject. Uh, sometimes you can improve it, sometimes you have a good result. So today we don't have a very good results. So you press the W or you press quick selection tool. You press uh, it and you can see that it improves the quality of selection. Once you finish this process, I want you to press the right side of your mouse and there you have select inversive. It selects the inversive automatically and then you go for the filter. There you have a blur and you choose this part. It blurs the background. You can make it uh, more. You can make it like, you know, uh, maximum as you want or you can make it minimum. I'm going to go for, let's go for uh, 20 pixels. So it looks fine. And uh, you just select and this select. As you can see, we have results. Not a perfect result, of course, but this is the result for number one. So let's start the second way. Uh, before we start, I want you to copy the background one more time. Once you do this, I want you to go for selection part. You need to select the subject one more time. And once it selects, I want you to press the, you know, uh, mask. Before you press the mask, you need to work on those, you know, uh, select parts. You know how to work on it. You press the W, you add the nail parts, you add the finger parts. You make it perfect in other words. And once you do this, I want you to uh, co copy the background one more time. And once you copy it, I want you to press command or control if you are in Windows. Uh, and then you need to press the mask. The mask is selected, but it's not selected perfectly. We need to expand it a little bit. You go for the select uh, part and then you need to press the modify. There you have expand. I'm going to expand for 15 pixels. So this one is individual every time because my picture is the in big size. Maybe your picture is bigger or less big. So that's why you choose uh, depending on your picture. And then, then I want you to press the background one more time and you go for the editing part. There you have content aware field. You press it. This uh, function helps you to remove the lady and fill the parts uh, with the background. As you can see, we quickly deselect it. As you can see, uh, the lady, the part of the lady is filled from the background. And next, I want you to go for the background copy one more time and go for filter. There you have the blur. You choose the lens blur. And then you can, for the radius, you can make it more or less. And uh, I'm going to go for 80%. 80 I'm going to go for 80%. And then you press OK part. Once you press it, uh, it takes a little time to apply. You wait a little bit and there you have it. This is the final result. You, you can see this. And uh, so let's compare it with the first result. This is the number two result. This is number one result. In number one result, you can see that you have a red colors from the background, from the picture, from the lady. And in the second part, we don't have it. So we work it more on the second way and we have a better result. The first one is the faster, but uh, you don't have a perfect result at the end. So we have done uh, for today. Make sure that you subscribe for the channel and like this video.